Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Area Specialist Weekly Wrap. I'm Marcus Washington. I'm joined today with Sarah McCallum. How are you doing today, Sarah? Yeah, I'm going really well. How about yourself? Oh, yeah, just, uh, you know, busy day, busy day. Just uh, getting ready for um, that winter chill uh, was out today. Um, yeah, I had the coat on today, actually. It's the first time I've had to wear it in, oh, I don't even know how long. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a scary thought that um, it's only going to get colder from here. The days are going to be shorter. And, uh, yeah, it's it's win- winter's a long season. It's only April and uh, it doesn't get warm until December these days. So <laughs> It's true. And uh, with that comes a bad lawn. So, um, yeah, <laughs> bring back nice, spring. A nice lawn. <laughs> lawn, no, it's winter. It goes bad. <laughs> oh, the lawn. Uh, you're going to have to get yeah. some of those lights that they have at um, Eddie had out on your lawn to keep it going. Yeah, I'll have to put some stuff down for it to survive the weeds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, um, we're here to talk about the week in real estate, uh, how things went, uh, what came onto the market, what went under contract, what went to sold. And um, I can tell you now it's been a productive week. And um, even today, there was definitely um, some active buyers, some serious buyers out there that uh, want to buy. Um, how were your thoughts? How were your opens? And um, I guess number-wise, how did you feel about the numbers out there today? Oh, look, I think it depends on the property. Also, um, Nary Warren that I've got at 34 Ohio, is, look, it's had really decent numbers throughout the whole campaign. Um, so, you know, in that respect, but then I had another one off market that I thought I was going to get quite a few through and um, I only had the one. So um, yes. I guess sometimes in some respects go to market because you're going to pull uh, a lot more. But um, what are your thoughts? Yeah, definitely. I think um, there's definitely a, a sign of less buyers out there and that, that's uh, it's expected with the market. We've had two years of growth, and now we've come to a point where uh, you know the one thing I found was uh, fuel prices have definitely made people rethink about their finance situation because uh, that hits the hits the pocket straight away. Compared to an interest rate rise can take six to twelve months to take effect, um, and you know maybe affect the market. But ultimately, uh, this weekend we we just spoke about it before. We had forty one buyers, uh, forty two buyers go through a total of ten opens. Okay, so that's only averaging uh, uh, four four buyers per open home. Uh, if we went back to even let's just say February, uh, start of February, or even uh, end of uh, start of November last year, we would have been averaging between ten to twelve buyers per an open for inspection, um, and especially the first home buyer section between five fifty thousand to six hundred fifty thousand, we were getting swamped with absolute inquiring calls. Uh, so we're at a different point in time now where we're, we're getting definitely qualified people. I think but uh, quantity that we were used to. Yeah, 100%. I think there's definitely people out there that, that need to buy. Um, it's just that, yeah, they're, they're picking and choosing. They're not just buying out of panic. They're um, actually having a good hard think. So, um, yes. yeah, it's, uh, it's good time, so. Yeah, look, and I think as well, I mean, we talk about that average four people per open home. I've got properties that we've had open today where we've actually got interest and it's at the higher end of the range. We've got competition still. The buyers are still actively buying. It's just uh, there's definitely more buyers to deal with. We have to work with the buyers a bit harder, get more buyers through the door and, um, yeah, create the competition that's needed. So. I agree. You need a, need a good agent in your hands and uh, the price will always be right. Well, the area specialist has that covered. Uh, we're going to go through the properties this week. Let me just change screens. There we go. So you had this one hit the market, says, out in Lang Lang, some beautiful land there. Yeah, um, look, it's a title piece of land. It's um, actually already had three offers on it, um, just waiting for the 32 to come in. But uh, that I would anticipate would be um, under contract by uh, Monday or Tuesday. Um, it was yep. a development yep. site in the country cove that actually fell through. So a lot of buyers are, are very keen to sort of jump on it because of that. So rare, Land is rare. Land is rare. That's one thing we know about it, uh, the market at the moment, and especially over 900 metres square of flat land. And Lang Lang, it's such a hot spot. Such a hot it, spot. It's booming. There's no doubt about it. There's uh, a house there on the market, 930, 980 under contract. So you sort of buy that for a figure and are uh, you still doing all right? So... That's it. No, that's great. You'll get that one done, says. Good job. Um, you want to run through this one? Um, Stacey had this one here. Yes, they said that one. I believe she had eight groups through that. Um, it's had the um, virtual furniture, I believe, in it as well. Um, but it's come up really good. Um, as you can see, it's pretty open. Um, it's got a nice size land that 
It's got the views all the way out to Pakenham as well from a deck area, which everyone loves. Um, the garage is obviously under the house. I think uh, updated kitchen, um, as you can see, um, really big, beautiful. Um, I think it would have impressed a lot of buyers there. So um, I would imagine the um, space would be pretty busy with that one. So yeah. I think so. Too. Like, I think it's it, the furniture is actually insane. How good it looks as well. I can't like. I mean, yeah, it, it's obviously... only you know there's a few few things like the pot plant, but other than that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it works well. So yeah, it's pretty convincing. Pretty convincing. Yeah. So and you got the side access as well um, for that one, obviously. So you yeah. can see he's obviously driven down um, to get that um, the boat and everything there. So. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Another one we got. I had uh, number five, Panari place in Packenham, three bed, two bathroom, one car. We had six groups through this today. And uh, this one's neat, tidy, ready to go. Good first home buyer property. Um, and, and just really nice layout. It's got his and hers walking robe. Um, you know, got a bit of a decking area. So it's not it's not the biggest place, but it's definitely got uh, a lot of home feeling. And, um, you know, the fact you can just move straight in. So uh, great interest there today. And I'm really looking forward to working on this property uh, over the next couple of days with some buyers. Um, the second one this week I had come on the market was 194 Racecourse Road. Uh, three bed, two bathroom, two car on a 500 uh, between 590 and 640. Again, beautiful home, big open plan, master bedroom, uh, kitchen as well. Uh, big outdoor entertaining area and a massive hedge at the back uh, there as well. Um, and yeah, this one's really turned heads. A renovated uh, bathroom as well there. So open plan living um, and yeah, at its best. Uh, another one we've had um, gone to contract this week. Uh, six Delacour, uh, six uh, four bedroom bathroom. Uh, this one's in Lakeside. This one went for the higher end of the range and um, the owners did an amazing job getting the presented. And uh, as you can see there, nice open plan living. And, um, yeah, good spot in Lakeside as well, close to the lake and the primary school in between the lake and the primary school. Uh, another one we had, uh, says, was number 77, Kenneth, went under contract uh, in Officer. Uh, this one actually took three weeks to go under contract, but in the end we had multiple offers. And, again, that goes back to us working hard, working on the buyers, creating competition, and um, end up selling towards the higher end under contract. Uh, another beautiful home waiting on the phone there for that one. Um, yeah, this outdoor entertaining area was definitely making people uh, wow. It's oven, uh, yeah. I think a lot of people think that, you know, in this market, everything has to go under contract in a week. But I think uh, the importance is to remember that uh, we're not just a one-week agent. I think, you know, if we're going to push to get the highest price, there's no point just doing it in one week if you can actually push to get higher. So Exactly. And I think it goes back to the strategy. As long as you're having people come through the house and inquiries and inspections, anything's possible. Once you talk to ones and zeros that open for inspections, forget it. That's that's not a good a good thing at all. You've got to have competition. So yeah. Um, then we had two other properties go to the sold section this week. Eight Eliza Heights, three bedroom, two bathroom, two living, two car garage. This one got a, a fantastic price of seven ninety five. Again, this home had competition. It was beautiful. A uh, downsizer purchased it. We had multiple offers, and um, again, a beautiful home. The marketing again came up amazing. This one was styled by a stylist Sharon and um, again she did an amazing job just to showcase this home and uh, the owners are over the moon the buyers are over the moon and um, a great spot there in Cardinia Lakes behind the lake uh, and again um, a downsizer purchase that being the three beds so and uh, one other went sold number five Gorham Street four bed two bathroom six ninety nine. dollars um, this one here did an amazing job um, it's been uh, renovated and um, updated the you owners know, there, yeah, absolutely presented. This home was clean as a whistle. Feedback was it doesn't need anything done. It was repainted. And I can tell you now, just going there, it's clean, tidy. Half the battle is a clean house because buyers want something that feels new. If it's if it needs a bit of work, they don't feel that way and um, that can hurt your price. So, And this one didn't even have a pergola. So $6.99, no pergola, had a decking um, and a decent backyard, as you can see there. So um, I did, think we did a fantastic result there for the owners. So, 100%. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to switch back screens and we're back. <laughs> and we're good. I think uh, that sort of wraps it up. I, uh, I'm, I've got to go out for dinner myself. So I'm, uh, I think they're already uh, telling me it says to go time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> well, we'll wrap it up there, Seth. Hope you have a yeah. good weekend. And uh, thanks so much for everybody watching our weekly wrap. And we look forward to seeing you next week. If you need any help with selling, buying, or leasing your property, 
come see us. We're here to help. And um, yeah, we want to we want to do the best by you. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see thanks, you. Thanks everyone. See, see you. Bye bye.